Hey folks, it's Ron, your old pal from Extreme Sequences. And 2020.39 is out just one day after 2020.38 came out. Now, why would that happen? Okay, a couple of bug fixes. I get it. But I'll tell you, I'm glad it did. I'm liking 2020.39 so far. But what's kind of cool with 2020.38 or let's just say 2020.39 because uh, there's a significant improvement between one over the other. Um, but today we're going to focus on, uh, do you measure up? <laughs> I've always wanted to say that to people. Do you measure up? Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about measuring today. But before I get into measuring, I will tell you that the renders have uh, increased um, enough to mention it twice the renders have increased the renders the renders have increased and what i mean by that is the render times have decreased so the improvement in rendering is there and it's a wonderful thing and i think dan culp made that happen especially for folks like me yours truly that have these larger shows but that's okay that's okay but you know what if it helps a larger show it'll help all shows so I've done some benchmarking on that, and I, I posted the results in the Extreme Sequence of Syndicate Facebook group. And uh, so people could kind of take a look at that with a couple of sequences. Let's get into this. This whole measuring thing. When I first heard that there was a measuring tape in x lights, I thought to myself, hmm, <laughs> what should I do with that? I don't know. Let's go freaking measure something. So that's what we're going to do. Now you're probably asking, why do you want, why, why do I want to measure? Well, it's, 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 it's not for everyone. And this late in the season, I don't know if anybody should be really messing with it. But if, if you want to change your show and measure things and get your tree exactly 10 feet tall, then stay with me. What you got to do is go to your add object and you'll see that there's a brand new thing on here that you can add. You got your images, grid lines, and mesh. The new one is called ruler. You go to your ruler and you got to go down here. You can give it any name you like, but I just left mine as ruler. Now, uh, if you're in other parts of the world besides the United States, the only country in the world that still uh, refuses to use the metric system, uh, then go ahead and change this to the empirical system. Doesn't this sound really fancy? Empirical. All right. And you can use yards, feet, or inches. I'm going to use feet. I know how wide my house is. is exactly 50 feet, and that's why I said that. So um, I'm going to use that. Okay. And you can hit save now if you want. Now you're probably thinking, okay, great, Ron, the ruler. Where the hell's your ruler? Ah, uh, it's hiding. Why shouldn't the ruler be buried under my house? That's where all the bodies are. Oh, ooh, hey, please don't report that. <laughs> all right, click on this. You can zoom in if you like. I click on a handle here, drag this over, drag this over. And you want to get it pretty close. What I like to do is push this in. I want to make sure it doesn't disappear because there's a bit of an angle to my house. All right, I'm going to bring this over and then I'm going to bring this over to the edge. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, let go. Uh, scoot it over. And then I'm going to look at a side view here and see how far it's sticking out. All right, I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to bring this down. I just want to go under the garage. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to bring this down, try to get a straight line. And then I'm going to bring this back. I just want to go point to point. Now, you don't have to be as fussy as I am with this, but it's just kind of fun for me to do stuff like this. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And we're just trying to get close, right? Well, as close as you're comfortable. All right, that looks good. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. And the idea is to tell this when you have the measurements, and I'll bring this in just a little bit. I'm gonna tell the system, this is 50 feet. There we go. I'm gonna change my mesh back to seven because I don't need to see my house anymore. I really don't. And then I'll go back to models. And that's it. So I basically said from this point of my house to this point of my house is 50 feet. So now when you click on a model, it's going to tell you down here that the width is 10 feet and the height is 12 feet. Well, wait a minute. I know it's not 12 feet tall. It's 10 feet tall. So then you could go in here 
and bring this down until you get it to exactly 9.9 is pretty close 10 feet 2 inches that'll work trees a little chunky now and I'll bring it in like that there you go then you can look around where's it at okay good 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 let's just bring you down to the ground please uh, there we go one more and we'll bring it down so that is 10 feet we'll look at that again now to me it looks like this is maybe a little bit uh, shorter than 10 feet. Uh, I would say it's seven feet to this, eight, nine. Yeah, but that's okay, that's okay, it's close. Uh, if I click on one of these columns here, I believe these are seven feet. This is saying that it is eight feet, five, five. So I could bring those down and make those seven feet exactly. Let's look at something a little more practical like a tombstone here. This is the Gilbert Engineering Triune Tomb. I know for a fact that is exactly 46 inches high. On here, it is saying is 3.6. Hmm, shouldn't it be 3.8? Does it really matter? If, if, you, if you want it to, I mean, we could take this and put it 3.8. Three point, yeah, there, oh, 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 go back, go back, back, 3.88, 3.9, there's four. Let's just put it at 3.82. That, that's fair. And if you like that, and the other one matches, go ahead and click on it now. Right click, resize, match size. Now they're both perfectly scaled. What's the, what's this one doing? Let's see here, this is uh, four by four. Uh, the height's a little bit high on this. I know it should be a little bit smaller than that. So I'll just bring it down a little bit. What's that? Four, that should be uh, 46 inches as well. Uh, four feet is 48 inches, so it's still a little too big for the house. So we want to bring this down, I don't know, 3.94. Uh, that's close enough, close enough. Now I'll click on this one and I'll get this to match the size. Now, everybody's super happy. Isn't that kind of cool? Uh, this guy's really tall too. So if you want to, and you want to go through every model in your display based on the size of your home, and keep in mind, you don't have to measure the entire width of your house. You could measure from the edge of the garage to the garage, uh, which is exactly 16 feet in my case, and go off of that. So play around with this. Let me know your thoughts. Is it worth it to change your show to make it that accurate? Or is a representation enough i'd love to hear your thoughts i gotta go got things to do halloween's around the corner you guys be cool be safe have a great sunday